Welcome to Tacoma, Washington. If you watch my channel for any amount of time, you're probably well aware of how much I love using my XPED camping mattresses on my adventures in my Tesla Model Y, and specifically the XPED Mega Mat Auto. I've taken it on dozens of camping trips and its reliability and performance are unmatched in the industry. With the explosion of EVs, specifically the best-selling Tesla Model Y and its climate-controlled camp mode, the Mega Mat Auto quickly became XPED's number one selling product and a favorite of EV campers around the world. Today, we're gonna to take a quick tour of XPED USA's headquarters in Tacoma, Washington, get to know their incredible team of outdoor enthusiasts, discuss their worldwide headquarters in Zurich, Switzerland, talk future products, as well as take a quick peek at their other current products. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's tour of one of the world's top camping companies, XPED USA. Greetings, salutations, and thanks for joining me for another video. Today we're in Tacoma, Washington at the offices of XPED USA. If you've followed my channel for a while, you'll know how much I've loved my XPED Mega Mat Auto, which is a perfect fit for my Tesla Model Y. I've discussed XPED many times in my videos, so today I couldn't be more excited about getting a chance to visit them here in Tacoma, Washington at their offices and to learn more about their history of their company, meet some of their team members, and to discuss current and future product lines. So I'm Kai Bune, and I work in marketing. Okay. <laughs> I'm Alex. Uh, I am the marketing coordinator here at XPED USA. In 2009, I was one of the three people who started uh, XPED USA, uh, along with Ted and Josh. December of that year, uh, Dave uh, joined us. There were three of us, and then there were four of us. We all had to do things. By the way, I also was the HR guy for a little while, which okay. technically... <laughs> and the town mayor. Uh, this is... This is <laughs> But the HR part, that's the scariest thing anyone could ever say, that Kai is in charge of HR. So <laughs> I'm no longer in charge of HR, and the company somehow... We're still here. Some company somehow still made float. it. And uh, Alex, how did you become part of XPED? Ooh, so I was working at REI in okay. Southern California um, for a few years. I decided to move to Washington flew me up for an interview. Was Kai yeah. working HR at this point? He was. What? He was working <laughs> did HR. Did you interview with him? I did. Oh, really? Nice. Him, him okay. and Dave. Dave and Dave. And as far as the history of the company, um, what does it date back to and how it came to what it is today? The story starts with Andy and Heidi Brun deciding that they wanted to go on a honeymoon. This was 1981. And they spent a year there and overwintered. They brought a few tools, just a couple of tools and, a, and a, a very few food provisions and lived off the land on purpose. So that's truly the origin story of the company, mm -hmm. them wanting to go into wilderness. When they got done with that experience, they tore down the, the cabin that they built and just left it and went back to Switzerland and decided, wow, we want to be, we want outdoors to be part of our lives. Yeah. We, that's what we want to do. So they transitioned, they started XPED, short for Expedition Equipment yeah. at that time. And they originally were distributing North American products in Central Europe. Turns out Andy's an amazing, super innovative, brilliant design and engineering mind. And so he started saying, we can build our own stuff. We can solve these problems for ourselves. So that's what they did in 1997, started building you know, started stuff sacks and a tent, and it's still in the line. Yeah. And just brilliant ideas mm -hmm. that have changed the entire industry. True innovation, yeah. uh, as we like to say. So, and that's what we've been doing the whole time. You know, for example, you know, any, any air chambered, you know, kind of backpacking mat you see now, that was an XPED innovation to have that, to have an insulated 
um, sleeping mat like that. Before that, it was kind of that, you know, that one inch bonded foam, self-inflating. I've tried them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, you know, they were the first brand to start our value testing. Oh, okay. Um, through a Swiss laboratory called EMPA. Um, bef I mean, they've been doing that for close to 20 years. Yeah, more than 20 now. You know, um, years. and it, it just became a, a standardized practice, mm -hmm. you know, throughout the industry in the last two years, three years, something, something like that. that. You know, things like flat valves, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Exped created the first flat valves for sleeping mats. And there's just so many things just built into it. And so, you know, when I started, again, you know, you see an Exped mat um, on a retail floor and then you kind of learn more about it. Like, wow, this really changed, you know, yeah. the camping industry. Yeah. How many employees at Exped, roughly? Exped USA yeah. has 16? 17. 17. Okay. And everybody pretty much in the Tacoma area? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then cool. in uh, Switzerland, in Zurich, yep. which is our other, you know, office, the main office, 25, maybe. Yeah. But that does speak to a lot of the growth that's been happening over the last few years as well. Uh, when I started in 2015, I was employee number six um, at Exped USA. Um, and I think in Switzerland, there was not more than a dozen or so maybe at the time. It was pretty small. So the last few years, I've definitely see, seen a lot of growth. Okay. So, you know, a lot of people don't realize, you know, the assortment that we do make, you know, backpacks, sleeping mm -hmm. bags, booties, you know, dry bags, tents, um, pillows, you name it. Depending on what country you're in, you know, you, you say the name Exped, someone might associate a different product. You know, as Kai mentioned earlier, um, in the UK, uh, dry bags are really popular. Um, here in the US, you know, we're associated more with sleeping mats. So just depending on where you are, changes the availability of products as well. The, the Mega Mat Auto is an interesting one because that product it started out as just a project at the, the folks at our factory mm -hmm. drive those cars. Right. And they said, let's make a mat for our cars. And then Josh, vice president of Exped USA, th said, that's really cool. He's also a Tesla guy. Yeah. And he said, we need to do this. Can't make very many of them. So they can't go across the globe. This is just this little, someone was fooling around <laughs> and said, we want one of these for ourselves. Because yeah. we're all outdoor geeks and gear geeks. And they said, T Josh said, we want part of that action. Yeah. And so we said as Exped USA, because everybody else kind of said, what are you guys doing? Right. Really? And Josh said, yeah, that it was a pet project that got out of control. You know, <laughs> yeah. it left the laboratory. In a good way. Yeah. In a good and way. suddenly, well, we, we can't go get them yeah. anymore. They're out in the world and everyone wants one now. It was rebranded to too, because it used to be the... The TXY, the TXY which yeah. was specifically for... Model X and Model Y. Oh yeah, the right? Tesla XY. Yeah. Exactly, that's yeah. TX, that's there where the name yeah. came from. A good way to look at it is, it was a US exclusive product. Well, at, at the launch. time too, Tesla was really only being sold mainly in the US. Correct. Obviously now they have the Germany factory and, and Shanghai factory, so it's they've expanded. Yeah, and, and as that expands, I assume you'll start seeing it in other countries pop up more and more. I know okay. there's demand for it. Yeah, definitely. Um, and so in my comments, I mean, yeah, every, time, yeah. every time I do a camping video, there's people from usually Australia and Europe that are asking, where can I get this? Yes. Like, yeah. And it, so um, I think it's the U.S. exclusive now and then okay. it'll, it'll be expanding to other countries as well. OK, but people find out that, you know, it's out there and wait a second. You know, this was just this was just our little kind of tiny little aquarium. Well, I have now some they're, they're good, but maybe bad news is that. Obviously, Teslas are selling like crazy. It's yeah. Model Y is about to become the number one selling car in the U.S. And so I imagine you're going to have a lot more people <laughs> yeah. buying, buying these and, you know, and so coming up. I, I guess that's the, that's the moment where we can say to you that we're not unaware of that reality. Okay, good. Yeah. And, yeah. and the, it does take time to, to gear up yeah. um, and, you know, to make space in, in the factory to build them. And... and Honestly, this is stuff that nobody who wants to buy one really cares about. Right. <laughs> we get that. Yeah. You know, yeah. that we just, yeah. can I just please have a Mega Mat Auto? Yeah. So stop talking and just send yeah. me one. Yeah. We get it. 
but every uh, mega mat is actually handmade oh. it's multiple people to make a single mat okay so when we talk about you know like ramping up production it's there's a lot that goes into it yeah. you know and a lot that needs to be planned out there and so it's this cool partnership this symbiotic mm -hmm. relationship between Xbed in Switzerland and Cindy and her family business um, there at the factory. What's kind of the technology behind is, is it, I kind of always explain it as memory foam with air pockets. Sure. That's part of it. Yeah. So okay. yeah. Mega Mat. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, wow. Whether it's Mega Mat, you know, 10 LXW, if it's Mega Mat Duo, or if it's uh, Mega Mat Auto, you know, formerly TXY construction behind all of them are going to be identical um, it comes down to basically the size you know the cut of it so essentially as you you know take a look at this is an internal structure of a mega mat that's four inches of polyurethane foam open cell polyurethane foam mm -hmm. um, with this cord out structure um, which allows for packability um, reduced weight um, you'll have a 75 denier polyester um, which creates that really nice, durable, you know, surface on the bottom and on the sidewalls. Um, on the top, though, which is which is pretty unique, it's going to be a 50 denier uh, stretch trico um, polyester fabric. Um, I've noticed that it's so much softer than other. It is, and this is you know, what otherwise. really kind of separates, you know, Mega Mat as well. Um, is this incredibly soft, breathable fabric that you get Stretchy. to stretch you know fabric mm -hmm. that you get to sleep right on top of it gives just the right amount in conjunction with the stretch trico fabric on the surface so that they all work together and i've, I've noticed that as a side sleeper typically the hardest part has been especially with the thinner mats from other companies is that the my hip will just go right into the ground you know yeah. and that's where i yes that it's these have saved me i have not had to worry about that at all yes you and know, how, real quick, a little tip for anybody: if you do get the get the Xped uh, widget, the widget, it's only like this big, and literally just hit a button, I think twice, and it just takes like three minutes, and it's yeah. perfect. Oh, the widget. Yeah. We can... um, but yeah, there's a little toggle on the inflate okay. valve. You just kind of pop it in to keep that flap yeah. uh, wedged open. That'll help it inflate faster. You don't have to use that. Yeah. Um, I do think it's important to preface though, is that anytime you have a, a brand new one, you know. Um, they have been, you know, sealed, rolled, yeah. you know, kind of vacuumed at the factory. So they're, they've been compressed for, you know, a longer period of time. Yeah. Um, so the first inflate's always going to take longer. Um, but once you use it more and more, yeah. um, it'll be fine. just fine. Okay. So. All right, real quick, let's talk about um, some of the other things that you guys sell. Besides, again, you said Xped USA is widely known for the camping mattresses but you guys do uh, backpacks some of the some of the other categories backpacking mats tents yeah big, um, big line of tents big line of tents is actually um one of the earliest expat products was the orion tent okay sleeping bags yeah alpine bags uh, like climbing bags waterproof backpacks booties you know camp footwear yep. pillows That's pretty it. much anything you need you know, while you're out there camping, as far as, you know, to be comfortable while you're yeah, out there. Yeah, we like sleeping to say, comfort. hashtag comfort, take comfort anywhere. Yeah. So there it is. There's our brand, Refined Gear for Adventure. Swiss gear uh, for people who like that unknown. Mm -hmm. um, so we embrace the car camper. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're a, sort of a an, an, uh, human-powered adventure company that created a product for using vehicles and suddenly oh my gosh a whole bunch of other people are interested <laughs> yeah. in our brand yeah. um wow and we're so philosophically we're totally into that people are out there to have fun and if, right and if being well rested is part of that okay <laughs> yeah give me more of that exactly you know? yeah. and we've always said that so my question is on my way back down south any suggestions on where to hit? <laughs> oh boy, wait. Yeah. Uh, we don't, it only records for 30 minutes at um, I mean, the Olympics, like you say, are, are spectacular. I mean, okay. that's where, you know, there's that guy that, that um, measures the quietest places in the, in the world yeah. or the quietest places in the US. This is 
in there somewhere. Really? He doesn't tell you where it is. <laughs> yeah, I think a... I know where it is, but okay. it's it's an incredible place. Okay. Olympic National Park is a very special place. You get in there and there's been no logging in there and yeah. it's true giant old growth uh, Hurricane Ridge. Okay. You go drive to the north side um, out of Port Angeles on the Strait of Juan de Fuca okay. and drive up to Hurricane Ridge. It's spectacular. You look into the Olympic, you see Mount Olympus, which okay. is a um, spectacular glaciated peak in there yeah. and just the wild valleys. So that's certainly one place. And then you'd probably back on the I-5. You're missing out on so much of Washington. I'm it's sure. Just, I totally you know, you go And I will come back. San Juan Islands, <laughs> yeah. which you would you need to the you need to take. The opposite direction of where you're going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the San Juan Islands are magical. Okay. I mean, there's a reason why people go there. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a unique archipelago. Yeah. Um, well, I've done like Mount Whitney around there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So down through there, you know, um, take that and then go through Death Valley back to Vegas. Yeah. Um, I think it's always yeah. just an incredible area to, yeah. to pass through. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys, you know, informing my audience about a little bit more about XPED and, yeah. uh, your product lines and, and kind of the history and, and vision behind the company yeah. we're happy to and again if anyone has any any questions about any you know piece of exped gear um just feel free to reach out to us okay um we have the best customer service team yeah. around um we'd be Amazing. happy to help with anything and everything yeah yeah i appreciate you giving us the chance to yeah just sort of uh, chat about who we are and what we do yeah so, thanks for the opportunity yeah thank you yeah. really appreciate it thanks thanks alex all right, so that was a lot of fun. I want to thank Kayla, Alex, and Kai, and the rest of the Exped USA team here in Tacoma, Washington for having me out here today. If you're interested in taking a closer look at their product lines, I'll be sure to put a link in the description below to all the products discussed here today, as well as a promo code. I also want to say that I'm really picky about who I work with and will only promote products and companies that I really think you guys will enjoy and feel good about your purchase. And Exped USA is at the top of that list. All right, so I think that about wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed it and wanna see more like it, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next travel quick tip or review video. Thanks for watching.